Welcome back to Maths with Mrs J. We're now getting into the more meaty part of the topic where we are finding equations of lines that might have some information in one part of the question and some information that we need to find elsewhere. Don't forget your y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. It comes in very handy. It will also come in handy when you do differentiation and you're wanting to get the equation of a tangent to a curve at a particular point or the equation of a normal to a curve at a particular point, a normal being perpendicular. Um, We've got an example here that I'll go through with you now. So the question says, find the equation of the line that goes through the point negative two, negative five. And first of all, we wanna have it parallel to the line three X minus four Y plus two is zero. And secondly, we wanna find the one that's perpendicular to that line. Now, in order to do that, obviously our first step, we're going to need to have a look at this line here and work out what its gradient is. So if we put 4y over that side, we're left with 3x plus 2. So y on its own will be 3 quarters x plus 2 on 4, which is a half. So if we call this line A, if you like, so gradient of line A is obviously 3 quarters. So when we're wanting to find a line that's parallel to that, we're going to need to have the gradient being three quarters because gradient of parallel lines are the same. When we're wanting to find this equation, we're going to want to have a gradient that is a negative reciprocal of this. So we will need to use negative four thirds. In both cases, we're going to use our y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So let's go for it with question one. So the parallel line. So use our formula and subbing in. So we said y minus negative five, so y plus five equals, our gradient is three quarters, x minus negative two is x plus two. Now, what I recommend in cases like this is that you multiply through by that denominator, then expand both sides. And then I tend to put everything over the side that gives me a positive value of x. So I'm going to bring everything over this side. So 3x minus 4y minus 14, and then I'm going to put my equal zero, which is perfectly okay to put the equal zero on either side. So that would be my first line. That is the line that goes through that point and is parallel to this line. Makes sense that it starts in the same way, 3x minus 4y, because we should have the same gradient. Let's have a look at number two. So again, using our y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Same thing here, y plus five equals, but in this case, we're using the negative reciprocal gradient. Same thing, multiply through by your denominator. Expand both sides. And we want to have a positive x term usually, so I'm going to bring everything over this side. So 4x plus 3y plus 23 is 0, it would be that equation there. 